Hello kids, my name is Alphabet Al, but you can just call me Al. And I love letters, as you may know, but I love the circus also. Oh, circus starts with C, and that's where you will see many things that start with letters from A to Z. So come on along with me, we'll see what we can see. Let's find words that start with letters from A to Z. Alrighty, we're off to the circus. And what a fun day to find things that start with the letter A. Look around this place. I see all different kinds of animals. Animal starts with A, and animals like to play. Animals in a circus show, that's the place I like to go. Animal starts with A. How about that? And what else starts with A? Hmm. Why, there's an acrobat. Acrobat starts with A And there are more acrobats I say they work together And I'm amazed They can even make the letter A Acrobats turn flips and swing And they are good at balancing Wow, I'm hungry. What can I eat? How about an apple treat? Apple starts with A and I eat one each day. Oh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away so we can stay at the circus and play. Yes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away So we can stay at the circus and play What a fun day! We found the letter A Now let us see something that starts with B Oh, what's that I hear? A band playing a marching tune Band starts with B and that's just fine with me The band comes to play at the circus all day The band in their bright uniforms march all around the ring Then they form the letter B As a treat for you and me Careful, beware, there's a big brown bear. Oh, I see, it's okay. This big bear is a bear that's trained. A bear in the circus can stand on a ball. And that is fun to see. Even more fun is the fact that bear and ball both start with B. Bear and ball both start with B. And what else starts with B? How about a big balloon? Cool! We found B at the circus. 
And so much more we'll see! What else besides circus starts with the letter C? Cotton candy, a puffy treat! Cotton candy, I like to eat! Cotton candy, as sweet as can be! Both cotton and candy start with C! And maybe that apple that starts with A would be good coated in caramel today. Caramel starts with C. But look what else I see. Clowns in costumes coming out of a car. Count the clowns with me. One. Two. Three! Four! Five! Five cool clowns are so funny! Clown starts with the letter C They have fun costumes And I must tell that costume starts with C as well! Clowns play jokes and make us laugh They run and fall starts with C, too. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, what fun! Now dancing dogs to the ring will run! Dog starts with D And dancing starts with D Watch the dancing dogs And dance around with me Starts with D and dancing does too. We watched the dancing dogs and had fun, me and you. Excellent! Uh oh! Something big is coming, and what could it be? It looks like an animal that starts with letter E. Elephants, elephants are big, fat, and gray. They have huge ears and eat lots of hay. Look at this elephant, he's smart as can be. He can sit up and make the letter E. E is for elephant, as you can plainly see. And the word ear also starts with E. Oh, I love the circus, I'm sure you'll agree We found some things that start with letter E <coughs> Fantastic fun! Now, let's step outside for a breath of fresh air And look for things that start with F out there Look up, up, up to the top of the tent and see flags flying in the wind. Flag starts with F and the circus flags I see are colorful and festive as can be. Whoa! Oops, I fell. That starts with F too. Now look at all the feet passing by me and you. Well, well, if it isn't my friend Freddy, Freddy the Fire Eater. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. Ha <laughs> ha, no problem, Al. Friend starts with F, and so does Freddy. But Fire Eater is the best word that starts with F for me. Fire eaters at the circus put fire into their mouths. They amaze me every time when they spit it back out. F is for fire, burning bright and red. But don't try this at home. Remember what I said. Don't ever play with fire or matches. That's right, kids. I'm a professional. Goodness gracious, let's go back inside. I'm getting hot. Whoa! 
Now what can this be? It looks like an animal that starts with letter G. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gorilla starts with G. Gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So big and so hairy. Gorillas beat their chests. They are strong as they can be. They swing around on ropes and they start with letter G. And look who's coming now. What do I see? It's a girl gorilla. Girl also starts with G. Gorillas. Gorillas start with G. Gorillas. Do a circus dance, you see. How fun, how fun. H is the letter that starts so many things you can see at the circus. So take a look with me. H is for horses running round the ring. They jump and prance as the horse trainers sing. Hop on your hind legs, horses. Hop and horse start with H. Hop on your hind legs, horses. Horses starts with H. Hmm. Now I'm hungry again. And hungry starts with H. How about a hot dog? Hot dogs. Get your hot dogs. Hot, fresh, and delicious. Hi there, hot dog man. I'd like a hot dog, please. Here you go, buddy. That'll be 15 bucks. 15 bucks? <laughs> wow, that's pretty steep. <laughs> Just kidding, Al. You eat for free. Thanks, hot dog man. Your name starts with H. Your hot dogs start with H. Mmm. And they sure taste great. Oh, have you seen the hot dog man, the hot dog man, the hot dog man? Oh, have you seen the hot dog man working at the circus? <laughs> what do I hear? It's the human cannonball. He shoots up into the air, then down he will fall. <laughs> Good thing there's a net. <laughs> Human cannonball starts with H and ends with a bang. I like the circus. Yes, it's true. And at the circus, I like ice cream, too. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream starts with the letter I. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I like ice cream, my oh my. Ice cream is nice, but when I'm thirsty, I like ice in my drink. Ice starts with I, with or without cream. Ice starts with I, that is plain to see. And remember the band that starts with B? Their instruments start with I, you see? Jolly good. What do you say we find some things that start with J? See that man over there? Throwing things up in the air? He is called a juggler. A juggle starts with the letter J. What can the juggler juggle today? How about jars? Jar starts with J. Juggle starts with the letter J. What can the juggler juggle today? What's in the jars? Jam and jelly. Hey, jam and jelly start with J. Juggle starts with the letter J. What can the juggler juggle today? How about jewels? 
Jewel starts with J. The juggle starts with the letter J. What can the juggler juggle today? How about some junk? Junk starts with J. Juggle starts with the letter J. What can the juggler juggle today? How about Jerry? Jerry starts with J. What a jolly jumping juggler. He'll dance a jig, I say. Jolly jig, jump and juggler all start with J. Now what can we find at the circus today that starts off with the letter K? Just look in the crowd. It's easy to do. You'll find lots of kids just like you. Kids love the circus and kid starts with K. Kid is our K word for our circus day. Alrighty. Kind starts with K. That's how we want to be. I'll be kind to you. Will you be kind to me? And now, kids, ladies and gentlemen, if you please, look to the center ring to see the King of Beasts. The lion is the King of Beasts, and King starts with K. But lion starts with our next letter today. The letter L. L is for lion and lemonade. In come the lions in a parade. Drink lemonade and watch with glee as lights show the lions to you and me. Let's watch the lady whose name starts with L. The lion tamer will entertain us well. Look at that! Lily lion tamer is so brave! Now watch the lion's leap. Leap starts with L. And leaping is one thing that lions do so well. Lady? Lion Tamer, Lion, Lemonade, Lights. All these words start with L. My, my. Yeah. Who does magic better than anyone else can? Magician is the person, the magic M man. Man begins with M, and magic does too. A magician is a man who does tricks for me and you. He has a magic wand. Now, how about that? Watch as he pulls M words out of his hat. Marble. Marble starts with M. A jar of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise starts with M. A magnet. Magnet starts with M. A box of macaroni. Macaroni starts with M. A monster? Oh no, put it back, put it back! <laughs> A monkey, that's better. Monkey starts with M. Marvelous, magnificent, what magical M words! Now I know what we can do to have a bit more fun. 
Let's look for things that start with N until we are done. An N word at the circus the acrobats have found is a big net to keep them off the ground. If I fall, it won't hurt at all. I'll land in the net and have a ball. near the net and we will see things that start with N fall from the ceiling <coughs> nail <coughs> necklace <coughs> newspaper <coughs> Napoleon how did he get in here? <laughs> Neon sign. <laughs> Nurse. Thing. It looks like a giant O to me! What is standing in the ring? Tell me if you can! A great big hairy orangutan! Oh, oh, orangutan! A funny looking ape! Oh, oh, orangutan! Starts with O, I say! A man plays on his oboe, which also starts with O. While the orangutan does all the tricks he knows. <laughs> Please come with me, and you will see circus words that start with P. Peanuts and popcorn are circus foods to eat. They also are two words that start with letter P. Parents take their children and parents starts with P to see the circus ponies and ponies starts with P. Alrighty. Poodle starts with P. It's fun to watch them prance Those curly little dogs Around the ring they dance Look at the box with question marks on the side Now don't you wonder What's inside? Question mark Starts with Q I wonder what the box will do Will something or someone come out Of the box with the question marks all about Hmm Oh my goodness, look what I see It's the queen of the clouds She's as quirky as can be Quirky and Queen Both start with Q Quirky starts with Q And Queen starts with Q Quirky and Queen Both start with Q Let's move on to the next letter right now Me and you Star. Why, it's the ringmaster! The ringmaster runs the circus. He's the man in charge. He tells us what we will see next. Things both small and large. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting things that begin with the letter R.
A robot. A rhinoceros. Some rabbits. And now, in the center ring. That starts with R too. The rabbits will ride the rhino. Rabbits ride the rhino all around the ring. Look out, Mr. Robot! These are all our things. Super. Duper! That was sensational. Now let's go out and take a stroll. We'll see S words at the side show. Now there's a sturdy strong man with steel upon his chest. Sturdy strong and steel all start with S. Wow, that's a trick I'll never learn. Now walk this way. Look at the snake charmer. He can call the snakes up out of the baskets. <laughs> For goodness sakes. Snake starts with S. That was fun, now come with me We'll go back and sit in our seats Hey! Sit and seat start with S too! Terrific! Back into the tent we go To see some more of the circus show Tent starts with the letter T. What other T words can we see? Hmm. Tigers on the trampoline, having fun just bouncing. Tiger and trampoline start with T. Now look way up, up, up in the air. Walks the tightrope there. Tiny, Tina, and tightrope start with T. But the best T word for me is a great big swing. The flying trapeze. Oh, look in the air. What can it be? Something that starts with the letter T. The acrobats make it look like a breeze to swing on the flying trapeze. Unbelievable! Now I know what to do. Let's look and see if we can find things that start with the letter U. Uncle Jerry can ride on one wheel, it's true. As a unicyclist, he rides a unicycle. That starts with you. Uncle starts with you. And unicyclist does too. He rides around with the greatest of ease. Oh look, he's making a U with his arms for you and me. Very good. Uh-oh. Uncle Jerry, look out for that vase! Vase starts with V, and that reminds me of another V word that you may have heard. Veterinarian starts with V, and you might want to know why I sing about the vet when to the circus I go. Well, a circus has many animals And someone must care for them The veterinarian does that job Be the vet a her or a him A vet gives vaccinations To the animals if they need 
Let and vaccination both start with letter V. Wow, what will we see next? We're almost up to the letter X. But for right now, I will show you a word that starts with W. Water. Water, water, over there. But not a drop to drink. This water is for jumping in from high above, I think. Wig starts with W. There's one on this clown's head. It's a silly curly wig and it is colored red. What's this? A wagon, a wagon, it would be fun to ride. Wagon starts with W, I wonder what's inside. Why, it's a watermelon, and I know it's true. Watermelon starts with W. Now let's see if we can find that sneaky letter X. Not many words begin with X, but surely we may see a woman with a xylophone playing music sweet. <laughs> xylophone begins with X, but a lot more words end with X. Remember the box? Now what's inside? More words that end with X Within the box may hide Box X, X. Box ends with X A fox X, X. Fox ends with X The number six X, X. Six ends with X an ox! X, X. Ox ends with X. An axe! X, X. Axe ends with X. A sax! X, X. Sax ends with X. Excellent! Yippee! We found X at the circus. But what about Y? What rolls up and down on a slender string? A yo-yo starts with Y, as plainly you can see. But other kinds of yo-yos at the circus there may be. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Chinese Yo-Yo Troupe. Y is for yo-yo. Look, a yellow yo-yo. Y is for yellow. And Y is for yo-yo. Yahoo! <laughs> a clown is always somewhere near. Just look over there. And you will see a funny clown with yellow yarn for hair. Y is for yellow. Whoa! And Y is for yell. Y is the letter for yarn as well. Yeehaw! That was zany and silly as can be, but now we've reached the letter Z. Zebras at the circus prance around with stripes. Did you know zebra starts with Z? I kinda thought. 
but you might. Zebras can run zigzags, which also starts with Z. Now we found all the letters at the circus, you and me. Alrighty, we've found all the letters from A to Z. Now won't you sing the alphabet with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. We've been to the circus and had such fun. We've found all the letters, every one. It's fun to sing and make a rhyme. Now let's sing the alphabet one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So long for now, kids. Remember to look for letters wherever you go. Hey, you're great! You not only know the names of your letters and what they look like, but you also know how to find those tricky letters. I have an idea. Now that you know your letters, let's play the name game. Listen carefully so you'll know what to do. When you hear the letter at the beginning of your name, stand up. Then, when you hear the bell, sit down. Everyone here has a name, so let's all play a little game. What letter does your name start with? What letter does your name start with? Kevin and Caitlin start with K. Sam and Sonia start with S. Becky and Brad start with B. Does your name to stand up with me? Felicia and Frank start with F. Oscar and Olivia start with O. Virgil and Vicky start with B. Does your name to stand up with me? Lori and Larry start with L. Uma and Ulysses start with U. Cameron and Carol start with C. Does your name to stand up with me? Oh, yes! Rachel and Ronnie start with R. Yolanda and Yanni start with Y. George and Gwen start with T. Does your name to stand up with me? Helen and Harry start with H. Quentin and Quilla start with Q. Zorro and Zamora start with Z. Does your name to stand up with me? Xena and Xerxes start with X. Marvin and Missy start with M. Denise and David start with D. Does your name to stand up with me? Now we're having some fun. Jerry and Josie start with J. Alan and Amy start with A. Tia and Tony start with T. Does your name to stand up with me? Ned and Natasha start with N. William and Wendy start with W. Eddie and Ellen start with E. Does your name to stand up with me? C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 
Katie, Katie Cat. I want to show you some things that are fun to learn about, fun to care for, and even fun to act like. Animals. Come on, everyone. Let's sing a song about animals. my new friends about animals. Well, now, I love animals. So tell me, Katie, what kind of animal are you? Well, as you can see, I am a cat. We cats are special animals because we can be pets. <laughs> pets, huh? <laughs> wow. What's a pet? A pet is an animal that lives with you. A Let's learn about some different kinds of pets. What's that animal beside the little red house? Why, that's a dog. Dogs can come in all shapes and sizes. They wag their tails and do tricks for prizes. Isn't that cute? It sure is. Hey, Katie, look at the top of the fence. That animal sort of looks like you. But of course, Rex, it's a cat. Cats have thin whiskers and tails that are long. They can jump very high because their muscles are so strong. Meow! Doesn't that sound like fun, Rex? Sometimes when I jump, I almost feel like I can fly. You know, like a bird. Speaking of birds, look at the bird in that cage. Isn't that a parrot? Parrots are pets that can learn how to talk. They have pretty feathers and they sometimes squawk. That's awful 
awfully noisy. Yes, it is, Katie. But look at the animals in the aquarium. They're very quiet. Fish live in water and they like to swim. They have lots of scales and pretty little fins. Hey, fish are fun to watch. Oh, no! All the water has gone out of these aquariums. Well, that's okay, Rex. They're not aquariums. They're terrariums. And the animals living in them don't need much water. Land turtles and lizards are not like fish. They need just a little water. You can put it in a dish. Ooh, look at the terrariums. There's something far in them. should be true to your pet by taking good care of it. A pet is an animal that lives with you. To take good care of it, here's a few things you must do. Make sure your pet has food to eat. And clean, clear water just can't be beat. You need to clean up any mess it's made. And be sure your Who can help your pet? Yes, pets are animals that live with you. Take good care of them and they'll be good friends too. I know a song we can learn to sing so that we can practice the pet sounds. Pets can make so many. Make a giant squawk And sometimes he can even talk Rock, rock, hello, hello Rock, rock, hello, hello Fish just swish as they swim While lizards and turtles look at them Wow, these would be good pets for a library <laughs> Gerbils and hamsters squeak and squeak While all around their cage they sneak Squeak, squeak, squeak Sneak, sneak, sneak Squeak, squeak, squeak Sneak, sneak, sneak Wow, those sounds really get me going Let's have a pet parade What's all the commotion? My friend Katie Cat was teaching me about the sounds that some of the pets make that sounds like fun. May I join your parade? Why, sure you can, but uh, who are you? My name's Freddy Fox from the forest. Proud to know you, Freddy. I'm Rex Rooster. Now follow me. Everybody get in the line and join our pet parade. Let's walk in. Wag our tails, but follow the leader and stay on the trail. Wag, wag, wag. Wag, wag, wag. wag. We're walking in a line today to show everyone our pet parade. Let's clean our face just like a cat. Rub your cheek with a paw like that. 
Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. We're walking in a line today to show everyone our pet parade. Be like a parrot and flap your wings, then nod your head like when he swings. Flap, flap, flap. Nod, nod, nod. We're walking in a line today to show everyone our pet parade. Pucker your lips just like a fish, then move your arms like fins with a swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. swish, swish, swish. swish, swish. We're walking in a line today to show everyone our pet parade. Stick out your tongue and look side to side like a lizard does when a bug he spies. Look side, side to side. side. Side to side, we're walking in a line today to show everyone our pet parade. A turtle likes to take a nap. If he hears a bug, he'll snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. snap. We're walking in a line today to show everyone our pet parade. Make a sound like a hamster with a squeak, squeak, squeak. Now back to our seats, we'll sneak, sneak, sneak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Cool a doodle do, pets are fun. I've seen some pets on a farm, but there are lots of other kinds of animals there too. How special, Rex. I would like to meet some of your farm friends, wouldn't you, Freddy Fox? Yeah, let's go, man. Down on the farm is where you'll see lots of animals, so come with me. First, let's look at the chickens. A boy chicken is a rooster, and a girl chicken is a hen. The rooster is a bird that struts around while the hens all peck. And scratch the ground. Ooh, what is that animal in front of the red barn? Well, what's a cow, Freddy? A cow is nice to give her milk if you pet her hide. It's soft like silk. Mmm, milk, that's nice. But, Rex, what is that smelly animal in the mud? It's a pig, Katie. Rolling in the mud, the pig gets smelly. Did you ever see? Such a great big belly! Let's see the animals in the next pen. Sheep and a goat. Guess which animals are woolly and white? If you guess sheep, you are right. The goat has horns and shaggy hair. He'll eat your shoestrings, so you better beware. Whoa, whoa. What is that big, strong animal on the bridge? Well, Katie, it's a horse. The horse is sturdy and fun to ride. Her long, hairy tail switches side to side. What are those birds, Rex? They're ducks and geese. The geese are big and the ducks are small. They waddle and fly and swim and they have a ball. Is that a horse next to the green barn, too? No, Freddy, that's a donkey. A donkey has such long, long ears. He's shorter than a horse. Let's make that clear. What about that big bird standing beside the tractor? Well, that's a turkey, Katie. The turkey is a great big bird. His head is red. Haven't you heard? Whoa, whoa. Down on the farm is where you'll see all the animals you've learned with me. <laughs> hey, all you farm animals, gather round. And we'll have us a barnyard dance. Cool. We can pretend we're all kinds of animals. Gather in a circle, let's do a little dance like a farm animal around the rainbow prance. 
If you flap your wings and you say bark, bark, then cluck, 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 that's the way hens talk. <laughs> now strut towards the middle the way the roosters do. Step back and lift your head and say cock a doodle doo. <laughs> The farmer milk the cow, make your hands move, then pick up the buckets and give a big move. Be just like a pig in the mud so brown, then say oink oink and wallow around. The goat bleeds ma, and the sheep says ba. Now turn around and ba and ma. Ba, ba. Now get up and waddle and quack like a duck. You'll get it right with a little luck. Stretch your neck like a goose and let out a home. Jump in the water with a big curve pong. Let's say nay, nay, like a horse that's brown. Gallop round the ring till you're all the way around. <laughs> Like a donkey, then give a break. Yeah. Is what the donkeys say. Yeah. Shake your tail like a turkey and scratch the ground. Now say gobble, gobble, and then sit down. Whoa, we never had dances like that back in the forest. The forest? But, Freddy, the forest is full of all kinds of wild animals. Hey, man, that's my home. Wild animals do live in the forest, but many of them are just as shy and scared of you as you are of them. Okay, Freddy, can we meet some of your forest friends? Sure. Walk through the forest, march to the beach. The squirrels climb up and down The trees without a frown To gather nuts all day Sometimes they stop to play The fox is red, you see His tail is so bushy Some people call him sly But he is really shy The beaver likes to chew On trees both old and new he swims so easily, with his big tail it's a breeze. The raccoons have a mask, and mischief is their task. They are so curious, it makes us furious. Walk through the forest, march to the beat. Here are some creatures that we might meet. The Blue Jays like to fly so high up in the sky. They come back down again to eat seeds with their friends. Opossums climb the trees, their tails hang on with ease. They come out in the night and sleep when it is light. The skunks have long white stripes, on black they look so bright. But watch out for that tail, you might not like the smell. The rabbits have long ears, it's so that they can hear. Whenever you get near, they hop away in fear. The owl is a night bird, and who is his 
best word His eyes are big and wide As through the air he glides The deer can run so fast Soon they will all be past Their antlers are their horns And they like to eat corn The wolf looks like a dog And hunts while at a jog He's wild and must be free So happy he can be Walk through the forest March to the beat Here are some creatures That we might meet The eagle has sharp eyes For catching prey he spies He's powerful and strong His wings are eight feet long Zowie! That's a big old bird! It's true, man! Some eagles are smaller, but others are very large. The brown bear likes to fish. To catch one is his wish. In winter he will sleep when food does not come cheap. It's fun to watch a frog sitting on a log. His tongue can catch a fly as it is buzzing by. Walk to the beat We know some creatures that we might meet Wow, Freddy! You have lots of friends that live with you in the forest. They do live in the forest with me, but they have their own home. Oh, I get it. Kind of the way lots of people live in a neighborhood, but each family has its own house. That's right, Katie. Let's sing a song about forest animal homes and look for places where they might live in the pictures. I want to know where the pretty blue jay lives. A blue jay's nest is small. Out, Rooster Dude. Eagles build a nest that lasts year after year. The nests are in large trees because they're bigger than both you and me. Hey everyone, the deer are a little different from the other animals. A fox lives in a den, a hole that's new or old, or under a nice bush, with two ways to get out with a whoosh. Do bears live in a den too? Yes siree, Rex. A bear's den is so big, sometimes it is a cave. A bear sleeps in her den, that blocks out the snow and blowing wind. Look at the wolves. in a burrow, Rex. Skunks live underground. They like to dig around. A burrow is their home, but it's best to leave the skunks alone. What about opossums? Where do they live? Opossums don't care. They'll live anywhere. A den or burrow spare. As long as no one else is there. Well, what lives in that big old pond? A beaver in a lodge has built his home with logs. He gets wet to get inside, but the beaver has waterproof hide. What about the frog? <laughs> the frog lives in Looks like a party. 
on. That's right, Rex. It's time for our forest frolic. Everyone get in a circle. The animals from the forest want to show you how they dance. We do the forest frolic and we stay in time. Watch the creatures in the middle as we make a rhyme. Put the eagles in the middle and watch them soar. All around the circle, let's see some more. Put the deer in the middle and watch them leap. Then go back to the circle without a peep. Put the raccoons in the middle with their little black masks. Watch them scamper around as they do their tasks. Put the blue jays in the middle, watch them peck the seed, and fly back to the circle with lots of speed. Yes, sir! We do the forest frolic and we stay in time. Watch the creatures in the middle as we make a rhyme. Put the wolves in the middle and hear them howl. Go back to the circle, walk tall and proud. Put the rabbits in the middle, now wiggle your nose. Jump back to the circle and touch your toes. Put the beavers in the middle and watch them gnaw. They can chop down a tree without a saw. Put the owls in the middle and hear them hoot. With their big white eyes, they sure look cute. Well, we do the forest frolic and we stay in time. Watch the creatures in the middle as we make a rhyme. Va -da -da -boom. Put the squirrels in the middle, watch them dig for a nut. When they find one, to the circle they strut. Put the bears in the middle, watch them catch a fish. Then they look for berries to eat and squish. Put the frogs in the middle and watch them jump. Then go back to the circle with the wet kerplunk. Put the opossums in the middle and watch them climb. They hang upside down for a very short time. Yes, sir. We do the forest frolic and we stay in time. Watch the creatures in the middle as we make a rhyme. Put the skunks in the middle. Watch them stomp this way. Don't get too close or they'll give a stinky spray. Put the foxes in the middle, oh, they are so sly. Now sneak back to the circle and say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Eagle. So long, wolves. Goodbye, squirrels. Bye-bye, bunny rabbit. So long, Mr. Beaver. Bye, Mrs. Fox. Goodbye, Mrs. Apostle. Take it easy, Mr. Frog. Wow, that was so much fun. I really enjoyed meeting all of these different kinds of animals. Well, Katie, I know where we can meet even more animals. Animals that come from all over the world. Zowie Rex, I sure would like to meet some animals from Australia or Africa or even Kathmandu. Kathmandu? Me too, Freddy. Hey, Rex, where is this magical place? It's not magical, Katie. It's called a zoo. Oh, I've heard of zoos. Let's, Let's go. go. Well, all right. Oh, the zoo is a fun place where animals stay.
We can stand on one foot like a flamingo Then strut like a peacock Walking to and fro Put your arms in front of your face Make an alligator's mouth Then open and close it Like they do down south In a safari line We'll travel around Moving like animals And making their sounds Bark like a sea lion And balance a ball <coughs> Then waddle like a penguin Standing straight and tall We can walk like a panda Down on all fours Then swim like a polar bear From way up north In a safari line We'll travel around Moving like animals And making their sounds Hop like a kangaroo To make me laugh Then stretch your neck like a tall giraffe We can use our arms to make a trunk Sway it back and forth like an elephant My sister Jill and I are learning some things, so we'll be ready when we start kindergarten. Come on, let me show you what we've learned so far. Mom said that I'll have to help her by getting up in the morning and getting dressed all by myself. Here's a little song to help remember everything there is to do. I get up in the morning to get ready for the day. Take off my orange pajamas And then put them away I pick out some blue pants And a shirt to match Today it is green With a yellow sunshine patch I start with the bottom button And the bottom hole as I button them up I count them as I go One Two Three Four Five Let's count them again Count out loud with me All the way up to five It's as easy as can be One Two Three Four Five Then I put my pants on One leg at a time It takes a lot of fat or I can rest on my behind I button or snap my pants Then I hold the part that moves With one hand at the bottom It goes up really smooth Then I find a pair of white socks A foot goes in each one One sock Two socks! Now I'm almost done 
good at tying my shoes. Jill's always helped me. Maybe it's time I got her to show me how to do it myself. Jill, could you come teach me to tie my shoes? Sure, I'll show you on one and you can tie the other. First, make sure your shoes are on the right foot and the laces are pulled tight. Then, you make an X with the ends. Whichever string is on top, fold it behind and through the hole at the bottom towards you. Now, pull both ends tight. That's the first part. Now, make two bunny ears with the ends of the string, like this. Cross those to make an X. Then, wrap the top ear through like you did with the strings. Pull the ears tight, and you're done. That's all there is to it? Let me try. Make an X. doesn't look as pretty as yours. That's okay. I've been practicing longer than you. Yours will look better the more you do it. Thanks, Jill. Make an X. Fold it behind. Put it through. Pull it tight. Make the ears. Fold one behind. Jill, now all I have to do is make my bed and I'll be ready for the day. First you pull the sheet up and tuck it in tight. Smooth out all the wrinkles till it looks just right. Then you do the blanket just like you did the sheets. Smoothing all the wrinkles so it looks really neat. Start straightening at the foot Then make a five four pillows So they will stay put Last we set the pillows On the little flap Fold the flap over them And give a little clap Yay! Now my room is all nice and clean Wow, Joey, your room is much neater than mine. I can't find anything in my room. I always try to put everything away after I'm finished using it. I know. I want to start doing that, too. Hey, since I helped you tie your shoes, maybe you could help me straighten my room. Okay, that sounds fair. Whoa, this is crazy, Jill. I'll help you this time, but it would be easier if you started putting things away when you're done with them. I know. I'll do a better job from now on. Putting things away
put these clothes away. Are they all dirty? Not really, just these on the floor. I'll put these in the hamper. I had trouble deciding what to wear this morning, so I tried on different shirts and pants until I found something I liked. I know. Why don't we practice our counting while we clean? I'll hand you the shirts and you hang them up. Looks like you tried on one, two, three, four different shirts. Actually, five. I started with the purple one with the pink circles on it. I like the way circles look like bouncing balls. Then, I tried the pink one with the green stars on it. I like the way the glittery stars sparkle. Then, I tried the yellow one with the white daisy on it. Any kind of flower always makes me happy. Then, I tried the red one with the blue squares on it. I like the way the squares are in different sizes. A big square, a medium square, and a small square. But look, the medium square is starting to come off. I guess I should give this one to Mom so she can fix it for me. Finally, I ended up with this orange one with the yellow smiley face on it. It's starting to look better already. Now let's do the pants. You tried on one, two, three, Plus, the ones you have on now makes four different pairs of pants. That's right. I tried on the pink ones to go with the purple shirt, but they were too small. Then maybe we should put those in the stack to give to Mom, too. Good idea. Then, I tried on the green shorts, but I thought it would be too cold outside for shorts. Brr, it is way too cold to wear shorts today. Then, I put on my green and white checked pants to go with my daisy shirt. But two of the buttons came off. Looks like another pair for Mom. Yep. And I finally ended up with these blue jeans. Wow, your room looks a lot better. Thanks for helping me, Joey. All this cleaning is making me hungry, though. Let's go eat breakfast. Okay. Mom said we're going to have juice and cereal for breakfast. Why don't we help Mom by setting the table? We need one spoon for Dad, one for Mom, one for you, and one for me. So that makes one, two, three, four, four spoons. We need Dad's large bowl for cereal, Mom's medium-sized bowl for cereal, and our two small bowls for cereal. That makes one, two, three, Four bowls, large, medium, and small. Cool, look at our bowls next to each other on the table. Ours look pretty big, at least for us. Mom's is bigger, and Dad's is the biggest bowl of all. Big, bigger, biggest. Now we need our two small glasses for juice. Mom's medium glass for juice, and Dad's large glass for juice. That makes one, two, three, four glasses. Small, medium, and large. Juice glasses are usually smaller than normal glasses. So Dad has a small glass, Mom's is smaller, and we have the smallest juice glasses of all. Small, smaller, smallest. Let's see. The last thing we need are napkins. One for Dad, one for Mom, one for you, and one for me. That's one, two, three, four, four napkins. Hey, setting the table doesn't take long at all when we work together. Wow, that was a good breakfast. I'm ready to start the day. But first, I need to go to the bathroom. Mom says that when we go to kindergarten, we will have to go to the restroom, take care of business, and remember to wash our hands all by ourselves. I heard that you have to ask permission to go to the restroom before you go. We better learn not to wait until the last second to decide to go. I know. Let's play like we're at kindergarten the rest of the day. Okay. I heard our older friend Molly say that you have to walk in lines down the hall. We can practice on our way to the bathroom. Sure, but I want to be in the front of the line, since I have to go worse than you do. Remember to wash your hands when you're done. Let's pretend it's art time at kindergarten. Okay, 
Why don't we draw pictures of ourselves? I look into the mirror and just what do I see? An oval-shaped head that belongs to me. I look into the mirror and just what do I see? I see my two eyes looking back at me. shape for our head. I'm going to draw my eyes next. Let's look in the mirror first. I see a white part, a green part, and a black circle in the middle. I need the white and black crayons for my eyes too. May I use them when you are done? Sure. I'll use the brown for the colored part of my eye first. Be sure to draw your eyelashes too while you have the black crayon. And my eyebrows. Here you go. I'm all done with the black and the white crayons. Thanks, Joey. What part of your face are you going to draw next? I think I'm going to try drawing my nose. I don't like this. I made it a little crooked. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. Remember, we're practicing drawing. At least you remember to put your nostrils. Now I'm going to try to draw my nose. <laughs> I got mine a little crooked, too. Let me see the mirror again. I want to see what I left out. We have the eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows, nose. I know. <laughs> we need our mouths. Hey, look at mine. I think I did pretty good. You drew your mouth really well. I still need to draw my ears and my hair. Could you pass me the brown crown for my hair? Sure, no problem. Don't forget your green shirt with the yellow sunshine patch and your blue pants. Look, I've already drawn my orange shirt with the yellow smiley face and my blue jeans. Now all you have left are your tennis shoes, your arms, and your hands. Look! Hey, that's pretty good. I can tell that to you. Well, thank you, Jill. Yours looks pretty good, too. Molly! Hi, Jill. Hi, Joey. Look what I've brought for you today. 
It's a new book for us to read together from the library. I get it first. Now, Joey, is that the right way to take care of a book? No, we should always treat books with respect, like we would a good friend. That's right, Jill, but I was talking to Joey. I'm sorry, Molly. I just always get really excited about new books. Will you read it to us? Of course I will. Let's sit down in a comfortable position and get our listening ears on. I like how you're sitting up nice and straight, Joey. It shows me you are ready to listen. What do I hear? Remember to always turn the pages carefully so they don't get torn. What do I hear? By Melissa Cottle. What do I hear? Oh, what do I hear? As I go into my room. I hear the wind. It's whistling a tune as the clouds pass by the bright moon. What do I hear? Oh, what do I hear? As I get ready for bed. I hear a bubble, a gurgle, a swish. Swimming around in their tank are my fish. What do I hear? Oh, what do I hear? As I turn out the light. I hear the squeak, squeak, squeaking of steel as my hamster runs around in his wheel. What do I hear? Oh, what do I hear? As I lie down in my bed. The pitter-patter of rain coming down, splishing and splashing all around. What do I hear? Oh, what do I hear? Now, I'm not quite sure. A scritchety scratching sound at the door. What could be making this sound and what for? Hey, Mom! She comes in and shows me to my great surprise. My sweet little kitty got stuck inside. Mom hugs me goodnight and takes Patches out. Good! I have all of the sounds figured out. Now all is quiet, or so it seems. I wonder what fun things I'll hear in my dreams. That's a cool story. What did you like best about it? That boy's room looks a lot like my room. That's right. The setting for this story is a little boy's room at bedtime. Hey, can we borrow this book so we can read it again at bedtime tonight? Sure you can. Who was your favorite character in the story? Well, the mom, of course. She seems really nice, like our mom. My favorite thing was the little boy. He's good at figuring things out, just like me. So what was the first thing that happened in the story? The boy started hearing noises. Do you remember what kinds of noises he heard? First it was the wind, then the fish tank. Then he heard the hamster and the rain. Then he heard another noise, but he didn't know what it was. That's happened to me before. So how did the boy solve his problem? He called his mom, and she helped him figure out that the noise was his kitten Patches. <laughs> Patches got stuck in the closet. That's right, Joey. Molly, I wish I knew how to read. Well, before you can read, you need to know all of your letters. We've been working hard on that, but there are still a few that we get mixed up or forget. I know. Let's work on them a little bit right now. Okay, I'll get our magnet letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J K 
L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Now let's sing our letter song together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's the alphabet with capital letters. The letters are big and tall. Now let's read the lowercase letters, the ones that look more small. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Let's go a little faster while you sing along The capital letters are fun to read While you're learning your ABCs A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z Now that you know the letters, Let's practice writing the ones in your name. Will you show us how to make the letters? Sure, but first we have to practice holding our pencils the right way. Cool. I'll go get some pencils and paper. First, hold onto the pencil gently with your pointer finger and your thumb. The pencil will rest slightly against the end of your middle finger. Be sure that you're holding it gently and not squeezing it too tightly. If you squeeze it too tightly, your hand will get tired. Now, before we start making any letters, we're going to practice making lines and circles so that our handwriting will look pretty. Let's make sure our paper is slanted just a little bit to make it easier for us to write. Joey, you're right-handed, so we will slant your paper slightly to the left. And Jill, you're left-handed, so we will slant your paper slightly to the right. Now, let's make a whole row of lines, starting at the top line and going all the way to the bottom line. And we will make them a little slanted, like this. It looks like a whole row of slides. Hey, you're right! And the more you can make them look alike, the nicer your handwriting will be later. Look at mine! Very good, Jill! Now let's practice making loops. Start at the top line, loop to the left, down to the bottom, over to the right, and keep going until you fill this whole line. That will help you make smooth curves in your handwriting. I finished my lines and my loops. Okay, let's watch this video of how to make the letters. When you get to a letter in your name, watch it carefully. Then pause the video and make a whole row of one of the letters in your name. Here, I'll write your name at the top of this paper so you can know which letters to look for. Let's learn to print the letters. First, we'll print the capital letter. Then, the lowercase letter. A. 
A B B C C D D E E F F G G H H I I J J K K L L M M N N O O P P Q Q R R S S T T U U V V W W X X Y Y Z Z That was cool. Now that I know how to write my name, I want to make a picture for Mom and put my name on it to show her. That sounds like a good idea. Guess what? While you were writing your names, I was drawing some shapes on construction paper for you to cut out and make pictures. Let's look at the different shapes and see if you can tell me what color they are. That sounds really fun! These are circles. See how round they are? Yeah, and they're yellow like the sun. I want to cut one out and put it on my paper like the sun. That's right, Jill. They are yellow. And making it a sun is a good idea. But let's go through all the shapes before we get the scissors, okay? Okay. Now, look at these shapes. See how they have three flat sides? One, two, three. These are called triangles. Those are red triangles. Good job, Joey. They 
are red. See these shapes? They have four flat sides. One, two, three, four. Notice how they have two long sides and two short sides. These are called rectangles. I know what color they are. They're green. You guys are terrific at your colors. Look, are the ones on the brown paper rectangles too? They have one, two, three, four sides. Well, these are a special kind of rectangle. See, all four sides are the same length. So these rectangles are called squares. Cool. May I get the scissors now? Yes. Be sure to remember to always walk when you're carrying scissors and hold the point away from you. Here are your scissors, and here are my scissors. Thank you, Jill. To hold the scissors right, put your thumb into one hole. Into the other hole, your other fingers go. Yeah! Open the scissors up, like a now be sure they're open wide You'll do fine, I have no doubt Now make long, even strokes So the edge will be really smooth Cut carefully and slowly That's what you need to do While you are Like this? Very good, Joey. Let's cut out all of our shapes and then place them on the paper before we start gluing. I'm going to make mine into a picture of a house with the yellow sun shining on it. Mine's going to be a picture of a sailboat and the beach. Let's see. That looks pretty good, Jill. When you glue, you want to use just a little bit along the edges because if you squeeze a lot, it'll squish out the sides when you press it down. If some does squish out the sides, fit up with this tissue. I have a red triangle roof, a brown square house, with a green rectangle door, and a yellow circle sun. That's very nice, Jill. I'm sure your mom will like it. Why don't you color in the sky and some grass and maybe add some rays coming out from the sun? How are you doing, Joey? I have a boat with a red triangle sail, a yellow circle ball, a brown square picnic basket, and a green rectangle towel. That's making me want to go to the beach, Joey. Good job! I like the way you colored the water in next to the beach and drew in the boat under the sail. And I'm going to color the sky a lighter blue. After you finish, why don't you take these pictures to your mom and then meet me in Joey's room to play with his blocks. Hi guys, these are some really cool blocks. I always enjoy playing with these blocks because they have so many differently colored shapes and letters on them. I know, why don't we separate them out by what they have on them? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, do you want to separate them by colors? Or by letters and shapes. Let's put them into letters and shapes. That way we only have two piles to deal with. That'll be easy.
Okay, now let's count how many blocks with shapes there are. One, two, three, four, five. Right, we have five blocks with shapes. Now here's a tricky question for you. How many blocks are left to separate into piles? But Molly, there aren't any more blocks. Yeah, Molly, what are you talking about? When there aren't any more, we can say there are zero left to separate into piles. Zero is a special number that means none. Whoa, look at all those letter blocks we have to count. I don't think I know how to count that high. It's okay, you know how to count to five, right? Well, after you get to five, I will count the rest for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow! I can hardly wait until we get to go to school so we can learn to count that high. You'll learn that and a lot more. Here, let's watch this video that teaches how to write your numbers. Let's print the numbers. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Can we keep that video for a while so we can practice writing our numbers? Sure. I want to play one more game with you guys before I go home. This is really fun. You have to listen to what they say in the song and do what they say, okay? That'll be easy and fun. Stand up and clap your hands. We're gonna do a dance. Sway your shoulders from side to side. We're gonna learn our left from right. Lift up. Two. 
are doing great. I think if you keep up the good work, you will be ready to do very well in kindergarten. Thanks, Molly. Do you really think so? I know so. It's time for me to go home now. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Molly. Thanks for coming and helping us. Bye. Kids, I'm Rockin' Raleigh, the really radical rock and roll round man. <laughs> and I want to show you some really cool things. The most beautiful things you will ever see. Colors. That's right. Colors are all around us in our wonderful universe. Let's sing a song about some of the colors we see every day. Colors, colors, all around. So many to be found Colors, colors everywhere For the whole wide world to share The sky is blue and I can see White clouds above a big blue sea White clouds, blue sea Colors all around to see The dirt is brown, the grass is green And so in our beautiful world. Let's learn some of the colors by looking at pictures together. <laughs> this will be fun. Sing the colors with us. Red apple, red apple, red, red, red. Orange carrot, orange carrot, orange, orange, orange. Lemon, yellow, lemon, yellow, yellow, yellow. Green, pickle, green, pickle, green, green, green. Blue, blueberries, blue, blueberries, blue, blue, blue. Purple, plum, purple. Plum, purple, purple, purple. Black, licorice, black, licorice, black, black, black. White marshmallow, white marshmallow, white, white, white. Brown chocolate, brown chocolate. so much, I'll bet you can look around you now and find all kinds of different colors. Be sure to practice telling other people the colors you see wherever you go. Tomatoes have a red skin, red skin, red skin. Tomatoes have a red skin. Make a salad, put some in. I love eating salad. 
salad, don't you? Ducks can have an orange bill, orange bill, orange bill. Ducks can have an orange bill. Colors give me such a thrill. <laughs> Bananas have a yellow peel, yellow peel, yellow peel. Bananas have a yellow peel, and they make the monkeys squeal. Hello, Juan. Hola, Juan. Hello, Maria. Hola, Maria. Let's sing the colors. Cantemos los colores. Red, rojo, orange, anaranjado, yellow, amarillo, green, verde, blue, azul, black, negro, brown. Café, white, blanco, purple, morado, pink, rosa. Red, rojo, orange, anaranjado, yellow, amarillo, green, Verde, blue, azul, black, negro, brown, café, white, blanco, purple, morado, pink, rosa, The colors, cantemos los colores. Let's sing the colors. I live in the yellow house. Vivo en la casa amarilla. I live in the blue house. Vivo en la casa azul. I have one black cat. Tengo un gato negro. I have three black cats. Tengo tres gatos negros. I have two brown dogs. Tengo dos perros cafés. I have a black cat and a white dog. Tengo un gato negro y un perro blanco. I have one yellow bird. Tengo un pájaro amarillo. I see three red circles. Veo tres círculos rojos. I see four orange triangles. Veo cuatro triángulos anaranjados. I see six black squares. 
Veo seis cuadros negros. Hey, hey, cool kids. Look all around us. Shapes are everywhere. Let's learn the names of some of these shapes. Come on, everyone. Let's have a super time. We're going to learn our shapes and make a rhyme. A circle is round like a plate, pie, or penny. If you look for a flat side, it doesn't have any. Come on, everyone. A triangle is pointed like an ice cream cone. It has three sides to call its own. Come on, everyone. Let's have a super time. We're going to learn our shapes and make a rhyme. Now a rectangle is like a door. It has four sides. No less, no more. Shining in 
Now that you know about shapes and colors, let's try something new. Let's learn how to count. Hold up one of your hands and sing along. Music helps me count to find on just one hand. I can count my fingers and then do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, such good counting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Music helps me count to five with one of my feet. I can count my toes and keep the beat. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Music helps me count to five using just my mind. I can keep the rhythm and stay in time. One, that's the spirit! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What if I put my hands behind my back? How many fingers can you count then? My good friend, you can't count any fingers. <gasps> oh no! What are we gonna do now? Do calm down. We can say we see zero fingers. Zero? That's right. Zero means the same thing as none. Oh, so when I don't have any lollipops, I have zero lollipops. That is correct. Bummer. Indeed. I know that you can count up to five and you're doing a wonderful job. Now let's see if we can go up to ten. This time we will use both of our hands. Ready? Hold up your hands and clap to the beat. That's plenty. In fact, it's many when you count to twenty. If you talk about money, it's more than one penny when you count to twenty. Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! Excellent! Let's count again, but this time a little faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! 
Faster, faster! But, Rockford, our tongues are tired! Oh, come now! You can do it! Oh, pump up the beat! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, faster! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Hello, Maria. Hola, Maria. Hello, Juan. Hola, Juan. Let's count. Vamos a contar. One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. Five. Cinco. Six, seis, seven, siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, ten, diez, one, two, three, four, five, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And now up to the number twenty. Y ahora hasta el número veinte. One. Uno. Two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro, five, cinco, six, seis, seven, siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, ten, diez. Eleven, once, twelve, doce, thirteen, trece, fourteen, catorce, fifteen, quince, sixteen, dieciséis, seventeen, diecisiete, eighteen, dieciocho, nineteen, diecinueve, Twenty. Veinte. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Dieciséis, diecisiete. Dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. I am fifteen years old. Tengo quince años. I am sixteen years old. Tengo dieciséis años. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? 
I see one boy. Veo un niño. I see one girl. Veo una niña. I see twelve boys. Veo doce niños. I see eighteen girls. Veo dieciocho niñas. I see one woman. Veo una mujer. I see fourteen women. Veo catorce mujeres. I see one man. Veo un hombre. I see seventeen men. Veo diecisiete hombres. Well, hello everyone. I am Mother Goose. My, it's good to see your bright, smiling faces. Brother Goose, I was just about to enjoy some of my favorite nursery rhymes with these boys and girls. Hey, Mother Goose, may I stick around and help you jazz up the nursery rhymes a little? Maybe even use a guitar? <laughs> of course you may. We will have lots of fun. Dumpty should have been more careful. Well, he shouldn't have been climbing up on high walls without an adult there to watch him in the first place. That's important for these boys and girls to remember. You know, Mother Goose, the other day I wrote a rhyme about ways to be careful. We need to be careful when we have fun. Remember. But only cross the street when you have permission. We need to be careful when we have fun. Remember these rhymes and tell everyone. Brother Goose, that is a terrific rhyme to remember. You can feel good about yourself because you know how to be careful. I want to remember that rhyme and teach it to my friends. Well, hello, Sister Goose. It's nice to see you. Brother Goose and I have been teaching our new friends some nursery rhymes about being safe. <laughs> we used to say this rhyme together when we were putting things away. Oh, yes. I like this one. Once three little kittens lost their mittens and they That would all 
also be a good rhyme when boys and girls help with the laundry. I always appreciate your help around the house. When we work together, we have more time to do fun things together, too. This old woman needed to ask the children to help her out around the shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some jam to go with their bread, then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some jam to go with their bread, then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some jam to go with their bread, then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hey, I know a rhyme about a girl who had a lamb for a pet. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day It followed her to school one day, which was against the rules It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play Children laugh and play to see a lamb at school And so the teacher turned it out, turned it out, turned it out And so the teacher turned it out, but still it lingered near And waited patiently about, patiently about, patiently about And waited patiently about till Mary did appear Why does the lamb love Mary? Short and his tail cut long Oh where, oh where can he be? Oh where, oh where has my little dog gone? Oh where, oh where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long Oh where, oh where can he be? Oh where, oh where has my little dog gone? Short and his tail cut long Oh where, oh where can he be? Oh where, oh where has my little dog gone? Oh where, oh where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long Oh where, oh where can he be? <laughs> little Bo Peep has lost her sheep Leave them alone and they will come home Wagging their tails behind them Little Bo Peep fell fast asleep And dreamt she heard them bleating When she awoke she found it a joke For they were still a bleating <laughs> Then up she took her lint to cook Determined for to find them What was her joy to see them there Wagging their tails Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they will come home, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep fell fast asleep and dreamt she heard them bleating. When she awoke, she found it a joke, for they were still a bleating. <laughs> then up she took her lint to cook the time and for to find them. What was her joy to see them there, wagging their tails behind them? <laughs> this old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog 
broke a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played too. He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six. He played knick-knack on my sticks with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven. He played knick-knack up in heaven with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight. He played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine. He played knick-knack on my spine with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played ten. He played knick-knack once again with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Have you heard the rhyme that helps you remember how many days are in each month? No, we never learned that one. Well, I'll teach you. Thirty days hath September, April, June, and November. All the rest have thirty-one, excepting February alone, and that has twenty-eight days clear, and twenty-nine in each leap year. Thirty days hath September, April, June. Wow, that's really neat. Do learn something new every day. That's the truth. My friends and I used to teach each other rhymes all of the time. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see how many of those rhymes we can remember? Here is a rhyme that is kind of a riddle. As I was going to say knives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat. Had seven kits, kits, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to say knives? As I was going to say knives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kits, kits, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to say knives? One. You are so smart. That's right. Only one person was going to Saint Ives. Let's sing that rhyme that teaches what some of the animals say. <laughs> Bow wow says the dog. Mew mew says the cat. Grunt grunt goes the hog. And squeak goes the rat. To who says the owl? Caw caw. Quack quack says the duck, and what cuckoo say you know? Cuckoo. Bow wow says the dog, mew mew says the cat, grunt grunt goes the hog, and squeak goes the rat. To who says the owl? Caw caw says the crow, quack quack says the duck, and what cuckoo say you know? Cuckoo. Here's a rhyme about a clock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. Struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. 
Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got, and home did trot as fast as he could caper. Went to bed to mint his head with vinegar and brown paper. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Now wasn't that a dainty dish to send before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, raising bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came along a black bird and pecked off her nose. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Now wasn't that a dainty dish to send before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came along a black bird and pecked off her nose. Those blackbirds remind me of a fun rhyme we used to say as we played with our thumbs. Oh, yes. Everyone put your thumbs out in front of you and pretend they are little blackbirds. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back. Two little blackbirds sitting on a gate One named early and the other named late Fly away early, fly away late Come back early, come back late Two little blackbirds sitting in the snow One named high and the other named low Fly away high, fly away low Come back high Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. The dish is not what runs away in this next nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Miss Muffet away. You know, 
Brother Goose, some spiders look kind of scary, but they are good to have in gardens because they eat bugs. That's right, Sister Goose. <laughs> Contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Jack likes to play games, but he's also a hard worker. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. Come on, come on, I said. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. That's what I said. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. You see, Sister Goose, it is important to work some and play some. Yes, I know, Mother Goose. Speaking of work, I have spent all day looking for Lucy's pocket. Her pocket? How could she lose her pocket? Well, Lucy calls her purse her pocket. Lucy Luck has lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Lucy Luck has lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Remember the rhyme we used to say on the way to the market? <gasps> to, to market, to market! To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Here's a rhyme that's fun to say when you play with your toes. <laughs> Sweet, pig, 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 pig. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Little piggy had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried, "Wee, wee, wee!" all the way home. <laughs> this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had. I'm thinking of another rhyme we can say as we pat our hands together. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. 
Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, give them to your sons. But if you have none of these little elves, you will have to eat them all yourselves. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, if you have no daughters, give them to your if you have none of these little elves, you will have to eat them all yourself. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Rhymes about food and supper make me think of a boy who liked to eat Christmas pie. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. Little Jack Horner. Jack Sprat could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. Jack Sprat could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. A dream. And I like to dream of visiting far off places like Tibet or London. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars.
needles and pins, needles and pins, filled it up with needles and pins, my fair lady. Pins and needles, rust and bend, rust and bend, rust and bend, pins and needles, rust and bend, my fair lady. Filled it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold, filled it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Gold and silver I've not got, I've not got. I've not got gold and silver, I've not got my fair lady. Take the key and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. His name was Tiny Tim I put him in the bathtub To see if he could swim He drank up all the water He ate a bar of soap And now he's in his bed With bubbles in his throat Bubble, bubble, bubble Bubble, bubble, bubble Bubble, bubble, bubble Bubble, bubble, pop Bubble, bubble, bubble Bubble, bubble, bubble Bubble, 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 pop. I had a little turtle, I kept him in a box. He swam through the puddles, he climbed upon the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito, he snapped at a flea. He snapped at the minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito, he caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. You can't catch me. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. You can't catch me. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate a bar of soap. And now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop.
Oh, it's fun to wish for things. But you should also work for the things you really want. After we watch the stars, Brother Goose and Sister Goose usually head for the bathtub. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Taking a bath is always so fun. Yeah, and I had all kinds of fun toys to play with in the bathtub. Me too. You never had to ask us twice to go take a bath, Mother Goose. Oh, I know. That was so nice. Besides being fun, baths help us stay clean. Say, do you remember that rhyme I used to tell you when I helped you get ready for bed, Brother Goose? Oh yeah. It was called Diddle Diddle Dumpling. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John Went to bed with the stockings on One shoe off and one shoe on Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John Went to bed with the stockings on One shoe off and one shoe on Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John Mother Goose you always told us the reason that we needed to go to bed was so we would have energy for the next day. That's right, Sister Goose. Remember the rhyme about the boy who didn't get enough sleep? Little boy, do come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack fast asleep. Little boy blue, come blow your horn The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep You two always went straight to bed after that rhyme So you would have enough energy to play And so you wouldn't fall asleep at school I remember Mother Goose but wasn't there another rhyme he would tell us at bedtime, too? I think it was called Wee Willy Winky. That's right. Wee Willy Winky runs to the town Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown Laughing at the window, crying through the lock All the children in their beds, now it's eight o'clock Wee Willy Winky runs to the town Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown Mapping at the window, crying through the lock All the children in their beds, now it's eight o'clock Wee Willy Winky runs to the town Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown Mapping at the window, crying through the lock All the children in their beds, now it's eight o'clock My goodness, it's our bedtime too! Let's listen to my favorite lullaby. rock a bye baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. rock a bye baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Sweet dreams, children. We hope you are enjoying this Rock and Learn video. Rock and Learn has many entertaining audio and video programs all designed to make learning fun for kids of all ages. 
Take a look at some of the audio and video programs Rock and Learn has to offer. One of our best selling programs, Rock and Learn Letter Sounds, really motivates young learners just starting to read. Rock and Learn Phonics is a more comprehensive reading program that builds on what kids learn on letter sounds and takes them to the next level. Our Phonics Easy Readers on DVD provide fun practice with the skills taught in our Phonics audio and video programs. Young learners love our Rock and Learn Alphabet series, Color Shapes and Counting, and Nursery Rhymes. Check out our exciting audio and video programs for learning math, science, social studies, languages, test-taking strategies, and more. All of our audio programs include a book with either colorful illustrations or fun activities. To learn more about what's new, visit us at www.rockandlearn.com. Rock and Learn, cool music and videos for fun learning.